Well, good morning, friends. It's Friday, June 11th. I'm Pastor Jim. Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors of Christ Covenant Church right here in, Harleys, in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. It's raining out, so I'm sitting out down in a chair uh, on the porch at the parsonage. <clears throat> and uh, here's our devotional for today. You know, we're doing this uh, in June, the, this uh, Bible reading plan for adults and for kids called Running the Race, a Bible plan. A marathon is 26 miles, so there's, well, there's 26 <clears throat> days for the kids, 127 for the adults. <clears throat> and today I'm reading day 11, because it's the 11th, uh, for the, from the kids' plan. And it's uh, from, oh, uh, where is it? Matthew 18, 10 through 14. Matthew 18, 10 through 14. And Jesus has been just previous to this teaching about letting the little children come unto him. Remember that. It's so important. And here he says this. Beware that you don't look down on any of these little ones, the kids. For I tell you that in heaven their angels are always in the presence of my heavenly Father. And then... If a shepherd has a hundred lost, uh, if a shepherd has a hundred sheep, and one of them wanders away, what will he do? Won't the shepherd leave the ninety-nine others on the hills and go out and search for the one that is lost? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, that shepherd will rejoice over it more than the ninety-nine that didn't wander away. In the same way, it is not my heavenly Father's will that even one of the little ones should perish and each day there's a little challenge or a little thing to do and so the question for us today on the cool little running the race uh, chart is this think of a time you wandered off and how Jesus found you friends if you haven't uh, don't have these uh, reading plans we've offered them multiple times in the as attachments and they're at church in the narthex they're also here on the parsonage in that little red mailbox that's right there uh, also uh, in the mailbox brand new upper rooms came the other day and so you can pick them up and they're up in the they're up in the narthex as well so, when is, when is the time you wandered off? Think about that today. We can think about things as well today, like praying. God, we do give you thanks that uh, you care and love children. You love all people. But, you know, you have a heart for those that are kind of on the edge and the marginalized. And in the ancient Near East, in Israel at the time when Jesus, you were teaching, preaching, and leading, <clears throat> Children were really on the margin. Uh, they were considered really second-class citizens, kind of property. And so uh, it's really important that you are putting value on them. And you encourage us to put value on them as well. So we do. And we love children. We give you thanks for today. God, we continue to pray for a number of things. For Charlotte Williams and Dave. For Ethan Zinzer. For Jill and Luke. And their pets at home too. And uh, we pray for uh, Claude and Kathy Bevan uh, and uh, others who are undergoing tests and uh, procedures, those who are lonely. And God, we thank you for those who are, uh, we are rejoicing for, like uh, people, kids that are graduating, kids, young adults who are graduating from high school and different things. We thank you for the school year is crazy and as upsetting as and as confusing as it was a bunch of our you know elementary school kids middle school senior high they're, they're finishing school this week next week uh, we'll give you thanks for them as well God for this day and for whatever it is you're putting on our hearts we give you thanks and we pray in Jesus name amen a couple more notes uh, you heard me talking about how we value kids uh, our Christian formation team here at church is, is trying to figure out we've got some leads on a, on a virtual vacation Bible school plan that we uh, hope to have in the month of August like five you know we'll send out the information 
there'll be craft bags that either get picked up or delivered you know there's some moving parts but we value we value kids and we value teaching them about the love of God in Jesus and so we're working on that and uh, that you'll hear more about that coming up but uh, we're again we're working on a vac virtual vacation Bible school plan Again, virtual could be really great because kids are, families are, are, are all over the place. And so that could be a great thing. We have worship this Sunday at 10 o'clock. We're scheduled to be outside right here in the grass. But even if it rains, we still are having worship at 10 o'clock uh, in the sanctuary. So folks, 10 o'clock for worship on Sunday. If it's beautiful, glorious weather or if it's inclement weather, 10 o'clock for worship and in our worship service we're going to have our graduate recognition Sunday and so we're going to be thanking God for our some of our graduates that are you know graduating I think they're all from high school this year I think that's how it works after worship at 11:45, we're meeting youth group we're going to go play frisbee golf uh, Clemens uh, food products they have a private their own private frisbee golf course and we've arranged that we can use that 11:45. information has gone out about that finally yesterday on thursday the insights newsletter was sent out lots of good information in there including oh look a puzzle i'm i'm grooving on it i'm gonna do it uh you do it too uh, there's a this mission outreach opportunity for the kids summer food bag program uh, in in the Southerton school district and there's a list there for things to shop for friends we did it it takes you know, it's fun running around the grocery store figuring this out bring that in bring that food no matter if you're if we're gonna be outside or inside bring that food in and uh, that would be great a great service showing how we love children right hey didn't Jesus say something about that that's right he did hey friends have a great day uh, hopefully it'll clear up a little bit be a blessing to someone and don't forget to receive a blessing as well have a great day